Hi guys, I'm back. This is Tamika Nicole. I'm a Dollar Tree fanatic. Anybody that knows me know I love the Dollar Tree. So I have decided to jump back in, do a little Dollar Tree haul here and there at other stores as well. My favorites are Burlington, um, Ross, Marshalls, Home Goods, the normal stuff where we can get affordable nice stuff but anywho dollar tree i'm a huge fanatic it's easter coming up soon right um so i've been to two stores here in my area we got a little member say hi hi <laughs> that's my son jj but um yes so i'm gonna show you some items i picked up here at the two stores i've been to in the past two days because i've really been trying to generate some stuff specifically for this video um so let's get to it I picked up the little stick ups. If I can get the glare to come off. Yeah, the little air freshener stick ups that they have in the store. You there go it better right there. The stick ups that they have at store by Airwick, name brand. Um, got these boxes of matches. They come in pretty handy. When we have bad weather here, and also I've been trying the USB lighters. They're convenient, but if we don't have power to charge it, it's pointless. I just bought a box of matches just to have. Oops, drop it. Got straws, something I have to have on hand in my house. That's a favorite of mine to drink out of is a straw. This lighting seems horrible to me. I'm going to work on it. Those are straws. I bought some popcorn bags. I want to get this video up today, or at least before, coming to America too. So I'm excited. I'm trying to have a whole all-out movie theme here at the house with me and my son. So there he goes again. I got some popcorn bags. I got this container, which are some of the best storage containers for any canister items that you keep in your house. I use it for my meal, flour, um any stuff like that that you have in the pantry in those bags just to get rid of those bags i used to use the other containers with the gray top let's just say i had a little visitor make its way in being in an old house like this stuff you know okay tmi anywho got these container here to add to my collection i currently have i got two boxes of the scotty's tissues if you can see that yes these boxes personally i picked them up right there because jj get blaze out the way my, my puppy is in the way jj get blaze out the way don't drag him i'm sorry y'all talk to my puppy get him <laughs> he's in the way but this is why I bought the packaging. Yes, this is a, looks like a Christmas packaging, this one does, but I love clean, sleek tissue boxes, which is probably crazy, but I do. I like for stuff to have an aesthetic if it's gonna be anywhere in a room. Um, sorry, y'all getting stuff. Picked up some food storage containers. Uh, always like to have some of these on hand just in case I have a surplus of items I'm trying to store. Um, I just said my puppy was in the way, so I picked up this here from my doggy. They're called sausages in a blanket, beef and cheese flavor. Just something for him to have as like a snack or something like that. And I picked up this little grooming mitt for him as well. Just something to kind of groom excess hair, just a glove. Gotta have me some gum. I love this extra gum. The best flavor to me on the market. All the other ones, they don't matter. I like extra green. Well, spearmint, but this is my favorite flavor. Now, sticking with the candy items. <coughs> <coughs> JJ, come here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to cut that out. <laughs> Go around that way. Give me your own um, stuff. 
sticking with the gum in essence i picked up somebody tried to steal it i picked up this bubble gum with somebody the candy thief my son put in a buggy and as well as these peeps which you see have already been open but let me pull back yeah the blue peeps he's not a fan i don't care for stuff like this either i see people rave about these but i don't mm, too much sugar uh, we got the bubble gum. And we also picked up Play-Doh. He needed this for a project that he's doing in class for school. So we picked up some Play-Doh, which is the Dollar Tree brand. But it's a good buy because you get four tubs of dough, Play-Doh, their brand. And my son, he's about to have a problem. <laughs> my son loves to play with things so he's always been a fan of the pipe cleaners so hopefully one day we get an electrical engineer or something about him we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna speak that we got pipe cleaners which he's reaching for um on to more electronic type stuff i do have this this is something I saw to be new. And me, personally, I picked it up for when we take our dog out late at night or in the nighttime hour if there's no sun out. Okay, let me sit that one down. It's called the LED, clip, LED shoe clip light. I thought it was neat. I thought it was neat. Some LED shoe light. So there's something you can kind of clip on the back of your shoe. Not necessarily clip, but you just wrap it around your shoe. And I know it probably fit my son's shoe perfectly. And I thought about him when he has to go out at night. And I got him, did not, okay. I got him in the blue. They came in different color caps. I don't think the caps really matter. That's just your power source button. But the light is actually here. Let me see if I can try one out. See if it really works. We'll see. I hope it comes with, okay. Oh, so it's like a little, uh, it might be a win, it might not. I don't see nothing really lit up about it. Oh, it blinks, it flashes if you can see that. So it is. two modes so a steady and a flashing mode so those are the only two modes that it has but i picked that up picked up two of those um also near the same area i've seen these on amazon with your candle wick like extinguishing your candles i thought it was just cute to have you could use it for your candles if you don't want to blow them or if you don't want to put the lid on you could just cap it out with this actual candle snuffer so yeah, I picked up one of these. I also picked up two Lysol toilet bowl plugs to put on the toilet just to try these out. I haven't tried them in a very long time. I've tried these years ago, but I know the last time I used them, they leave a ugly residue to me on the inside of the toilet, but we're going to see what happens this time around picked up some old-fashioned combs if you are you know what I mean if you know what this is the old-fashioned comb that got that hard sound let's see I had to tell my mom I picked up these and these are a pack of four they're the real combs that make that noise they're not the plastic ones they sell so yeah I picked up these um I also picked up this since I'm a new dog mom. I picked up this dog family magnet that I spotted at Dollar Tree just to add to my refrigerator collection of magnets. I said magnet, magnet. Now, before I move on to the seasonal stuff, I'm going to show you this. 
And I think next time I go in the store, I'm kind of do like a little pan around of the items that they have that I didn't buy but looked at but weren't really my taste. So these next few items I'm going to show you are more so home decor kind of-ish items. Thought they were really... Get him. Thought they were really neat to be at the Dollar Tree. Thought these were really neat at the Dollar Tree. So, these were the few items I picked up that caught my eye and I act like I had to have them. But I'm possibly going to add these to my gallery wall that I'm in the midst of trying to create. So, I picked up this. It's like a, it gives that farmhouse, I feel like, aesthetic when you're trying to decorate. And it says, our family gathers here. It's like a little window with the sign on it. I thought that was really cute. So I picked up this. And I picked up this. I thought this was fab. I thought this was nice. It says family. And it has the white and brown, kind of like, that's what they call that stuff. It's similar to, I can't even think of it, but it's almost like the backsplash kind of tile, like a tile and wooden mix, but it's, it's like contact paper. But I thought this was so cute. And then it has one of the metal thing, letterings or wordings and I think they sell these at the Dollar Tree and they had this so I picked this up as well to add to my gallery wall and I really thought this was a steal I'm gonna see can I frame this I thought this was too cute hello welcome Wi-Fi password is it is a chalkboard I don't know how chalky it writes but on the back is a stick of chalk as well that comes in. I didn't know that till now when I was getting ready to do this video. But yeah, got this item. It has a little rope inside that you can hang it up. But I don't know if I'm going to put it up on the wall or if I'm going to frame it, like I said, and put it somewhere really and make it cute but have the password there. Yeah, I thought this was really adorable. Okay. Now to the seasonal stuff. So I am, I picked up a few items to do some outdoor seasonal stuff that I've never had a chance to do because I've always lived in an apartment. So I picked up a few items to put some stuff outside just to see how I can make the front yard look a little bit more pleasing to the eye, especially to my own. Um, so I picked up, it's gonna be kind of a little clinky sounds. I picked up these little, butterflies i picked up two of those and i picked up this little welcome windmill just something to put outside just to be kind of cute it was a dollar i'm not spending an arm and a leg on some stuff just stick outside and i've tried the little paper sign before thingies mm -mm. not where i say it rains too much and that stuff was literally tearing up sh to shreds so the little wood foam pour, the, I guess it's park board, whatever it is. They make those signs out of at Dollar Tree. They're horrible. Now, I picked up four of these. I picked up four of these little picks. And what my thought is, is like when it's summertime, I could decorate around my backyard with like my centronella candles or hang a couple of plants or something at the edge of my sidewalk or something like that. So, I just picked up four kind of kind of got an idea for what I want to do but not so but the metal hooks like if you're a gardener or something like that you can hang some plants that you want to plant stuff like that very good and affordable to have there a dollar so I picked up four um now this here was my favorite item I don't know if Dollar Tree makes this all the time but I got this to hang my sign in the yard because I have a lemon. I don't know if my sign says lemonade or just lemons. Just some summery, springy to put up in the yard. And this is cute. Like if you want to hang, it's called the metal flag sign. Yeah, the metal flag sign. So I thought this was cute for a dollar. Um, I got just one of those 
Because like I said, I'm getting introduced to having a yard. So it's going to be a new world for me. Now, the seasonal items I picked up that I like because I already have some Easter stuff, believe it or not, from Dollar Tree a couple of years back. Didn't use it during quarantine last year because I didn't feel the need to decorate. Um, so it's some stuff I picked up. And I picked up this sign. This is all mostly Easter related because now in the Dollar Tree, everything is Easter. Easter and St. Patrick's Day. I don't really pick up St. Patrick's Day stuff. Um, but Easter, I know the reason for Easter, but they don't have a lot of stuff to the notion of he's risen. And that's what I'm really going to look for to kind of put outside my door. But for the time being, I have this sign that I thought was super gorgeous. So it says Easter greetings and it has a little metal bunny rabbit with a bow and like it's in a garden. I thought that was super cute and simple. Um, to go along with that, I picked up this runner. I tend to add these little runners to my table for my tablescape that I choose to do. I don't do much. I do very little, very minimum. And I try to just stick with what can be conducive to the season of what I ha what I can have and get it at the Dollar Tree for a good price. I do shop other places for stuff too, but this was a pretty color to kind of go in for my Easter stuff. And last and certainly not least, I picked up this little guy at the Dollar Tree. It is actually a bunny rabbit. It is a bunny rabbit. And the good thing about it is that it stands up. See? Oh, it's falling now. But it stands up. Because they have like a little potato sack in the bottom, if you can hear that. So it actually stands up. So I can't wait to use this in my little mini Easter decor that I plan on doing here in the house. Okay. So hopefully, hopefully you all can find this stuff that I picked up. I'm going to put him back in the bag because I don't want my puppy to get near him and be the ripped in the shreds. Shreds, I can't talk. So guys, that is all for my Dollar Tree haul. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to be back later, soon, whatever, with a Burlington haul as well as some items I've been shopping and just letting them sit because outdoors. It's kind of open, semi, but we working ahead, we working ahead, we working ahead. So I just want to thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you like these kind of videos, let me know in the description box or just, hell, just watch it. Just watch it. Um, my son laughing at me. It's been fun. I'm coming back. I'm not going to be gone so long like I was before because it's been a few years. So I just thank you all. Me and my son might be doing something in the works. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so I thank you all for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed that haul. Like I said, I went to two different Dollar Trees. Every Dollar Tree literally is different. But the last Dollar Tree I went to, I was told to visit a certain one. I'm going to try to make my way there next week. So, thank you so much for watching. You all have a great and blessed day. Take care. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye.